morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody here on the webcast. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us here for our latest webinar, Reduce Time to Market and Gain Insights for the Digital Solutions Economy with SAP Automated Revenue Management. And I am excited to be joined here by my uh, friend, colleague, and uh, expert on revenue accounting, Pete Graham. Pete, welcome and welcome to the uh, broadcast. Thanks, John. Hey, I am privileged to have Pete here, and we're going to talk about a subject that's near and dear to our hearts, um, which is about the digital solutions economy and this concept that we have where companies are moving and where the world is moving. And then Pete's going to talk a bit about um, the new um, automated revenue management and what's the big difference. And Pete, I saw some great stuff in there about some customer examples, so I'm uh, really excited to see that. And then we'll we'll explore some customer examples in this framework of the digital solutions economy. What exactly is this idea of the digital solutions economy? And together with SAP Bramasol, uh, we all believe that this is the next evolution of the subscription economy. I think we all know about the subscription economy. Uh, it's been around for a long time. Why are companies moving in this direction? Why does it matter to them? Well, for one, it's higher growth, higher revenue. We see higher growth rates for companies in this space, higher margins uh, and more predictable margins, and it gives them new models and new opportunities. We're seeing them be able to lower costs. Again, that goes with the higher revenue, lower costs increases those margins. They can reduce the man management of complex customer relationships. They become more efficient, and we'll talk about that. Um, and you'll see how a tool like uh, automated revenue management or RevRec can help you be more efficient in managing those. And believe it or not, it will lower your DSO. Finally, it's where the world is going. Uh, your customers are demanding for it. 70% uh, of executives uh, recently polled by one of the big four said they believe that subscription models are the future. Next slide. Yeah, so I mean, our point of view is that, um, you know, there are several solutions from SAP that help address automated revenue management and we have different deployment options um, and really the benefits and this is outlined in the new solution brief slash white paper um, mm -hmm. you know of course our you know our, our you know one of our fundamental brand promises doesn't change we want to automate and simplify revenue accounting that's one of the core tasks right of you know within the accounting team and revenue recognition but we're also seeing that um, you know, there are broader benefits, right, in terms of enabling the intelligent enterprise, right, and providing an agile and flexible framework, right? All these changes that we just talked about, these are all hitting these companies in real time, and they're literally having to call, you know, if you're, you know, a sports fan in football, you're calling the audible, right? You're getting up to the line of right. scrimmage, and all of a sudden you see, you know, <laughs> the market's changing, and you got to adjust, and that's literally what these customers are doing and so being able to provide that in the S4 HANA intelligence enterprise and our cloud solutions is actually a big help right to these customers certainly there is not only um, looking at the sales and logistics and even third-party applications in terms of inputs whether it's you know what whether it's revenue documents or you know potentially order to, to cash documents but then also making sure you're looking at the the blocking and tackling skills like um, closing uh, the books a little faster and making sure you've got good insights into all that right so so this is a, a good high level perspective and we'll you know highlight some of the the themes that we discussed today here on the webinar. yeah yeah and and and, uh, and particularly around this optimized closing and reporting um you know where you know it's 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 pretty easy to see from the perspective of oh i've got one place to go for all of my revenue accounting information but the reports and the tools that have been built and the data that's available helps you produce your, your FASB reports for your 10Ks, 10Qs that much more quickly. And I know, you know SAP has done a tremendous amount of work in the embedded analytics and the embedded tools and, and continuing to evolve that, as well as you know we're layering on top of that a basic package of um, reports and analytics that you can check out in some of our other uh, webinars and some of the other uh, things on our website that you can check out. So I think it's important for, for people to walk away with a concrete sense of 
Um, what do we mean in the digital solutions economy and how does RAR come together in ARM, so automated revenue management, with the other aspects of SAP? So uh, an example is, there's a couple here. We had a large semiconductor company. They make, gra you know, they, they make, make graphic chips. They make many different kinds of, of chips. Um, but they also offer a platform uh, where they do software and license that software. And they wanted a way to really get insights into the profitability and the margins uh, at an individual uh, level. And we were able to do that by combining SAP RAR at the time together with COPA in SAP and help them provide uh, really insights into that technology, into the costs and the profitability of that individual technology. So you can see how individual companies can, can embrace different aspects of the digital solutions economy to solve different problems.